Anyway, uh, you see these balls here in a triangle? It's like when you're racking up balls for pool, form them in a triangle. And uh, the number of balls you can get in such a triangle is one or three or six. Last week, Marty gave the problem, can you find the sum of the reciprocals of the triangle numbers, triangular numbers? We're going to solve that problem in a minute. Welcome to Math with Marty. I'm Neil. This is the problem. Let's solve it. I guess a triangle of one is something that you can imagine is, is possible. It's uh, sort of the, the limiting case for the smallest triangle. And, and then you got three. When you add the next row of two and you add the next row of three, you're going to get a total of six balls. Next row of four is ten balls. And then you're going to be adding 5, and you're going to be adding 6 to that, and so on. We want to sum this series up. This one, I can call it 1 over 1. Now, I start off by looking for some kind of pattern. And uh, for me to see a pattern, I pretty well have to write a lot of, uh, write a lot of uh, the numbers down before I can see what was going on. So let me just write the denominators here. And after 15 is 21, and then i got to add 7. And then I got to add 8. And then I got to add 9. And then I got to add 10. And then I sat back and looked at these numbers. These are the denominators. And one thing I noticed is that you'd get two evens and two odds, and two evens and two odds. And I was hoping I could group things like that. That didn't really get me anywhere. And then I found that if I group them with um, how was I going to do it? An odd and an even, sort of look at them like that, I found that there was sort of a pattern emerging because, well, if you look at these successive pairs of numbers, you find that there's a common factor in them that is growing. Both of these numbers take a 3. Both these numbers take a 5, 7. Well, there you go. A sequence of odd numbers. I'm always happy when I see just single digit integers following some kind of pattern. And that helps me to know I'm doing something right. So let's not worry about this one. Well, we'll just carry it down. What you get from the, the first two terms is it's a third plus a sixth, which is like a third times 1 over 1 plus 1 over a half. And the second two ter terms, a tenth and a fifteenth, is like a fifth times a half and a third. This next pair of terms, they both take a seventh. And a twenty-first is a seventh times a third. And a twenty-eighth is a seventh times a fourth. And alas, another pattern with single-digit integers is starting to emerge. And that's the 1 and the 2, the 2 and the 3, the 3 and the 4. So I can start, I can generate the rest of the uh, terms using this sort of mach integer machine. Now what the hell do I do next? I think what I want to do now is simplify what's in the parentheses. So I'm compressing the series into half the number of terms. This is going to be a third times 3 sixths. And this is going to be a fifth. OK, let's simplify these. This uh, becomes 5 6. Neil, it's got to be 3 halves, your first, uh, your yeah. first one, a third of 3 halves. That's 2. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Marty. Thanks. You saved me. This is um, 
This guy is five sixths, a fifth of five sixths. Well, let's just write it in. Um, no, okay, we'll cancel it. It's a sixth. Yeah. So that'll be a sixth. This is seven twelfths times a seventh is a twelfth. And the next term would have been a ninth times two, three, three, four, four, five, a fourth plus a fifth. I'm making a mess here. And that would be nine twentieths times a ninth, which is a twentieth. And what does that give us? Well, um, oh, this is a third just as times that. So this whole thing is a half, right? Yeah. Right. And let's bring this one down. Oh, my god. Uh, now, what am I finding? I'm finding all these denominators are even. So I'm going to factor out a half. And I'm going to get a half times 1 plus a third plus a sixth plus a tenth and so on. And what do we got? One, a third, a sixth, a tenth. One, a third, a sixth, a tenth. We have the series that we started with. So what we're saying is the sum, which we haven't figured out yet, is equal to one plus a half of the sum. And this is going to generate that the sum <laughs> I want to write it big, that the sum equals 2. Hope you had fun with that. Now let's go over to Marty.